another child gone, another mother is weeping at the same time that you're dealing with your trauma and your loss. So it's just a, a whole neighborhood has been affected. The latest deadly shooting happened on I Street. The victim identified as 35-year-old Robert Slay. His death comes just one week after 16-year-old Michael Ellis was gunned down just feet from his home. Ellis was a Brunswick High School football player. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avanier joins us live to explain the connection between Slay and Ellis and why this latest deadly shooting has the community on edge again. Well, one of Ellis's relatives who asked to remain anonymous for fear of retaliation says that Robert Ellis is actually a family friend. She says the situation has become so scary right now uh, that the family does not know who to trust. Shortly before nightfall, Brunswick police officers watched over a large gathering of people to make sure everyone was safe. Several dozen family and friends of 35-year-old Robert Slay gathered to pay respects following the news of his murder. Thursday morning, Slay was found shot to death inside this home on I Street. What led up to the shooting remains unclear, but his homicide comes just one week after 16-year-old Michael Ellis was shot to death on Johnston Street, just a three-minute drive from where Slay was killed. News for Jax has also learned from a relative of Ellis that Slay was a family friend. What kind of a gentleman was he? Very quiet, kept his, you know, very nice and humble young man. You know, family man. He wasn't like a street person. She says Slay's murder can only be described as more trauma to add on to what we're already dealing with. You know, because he was in the neighborhood and we knew him. You know, so <laughs> hasn't even laid her own son to rest. And here it is, another thing. Uh, the week later, last week, her relative Michael Ellis was shot and killed just steps from his house. His family believes he was not the intended target. Police identified 21-year-old Breon Hartley of Jacksonville as Ellis's suspected killer. This past weekend, a woman who was renting this blue house just yards from where Ellis was murdered was arrested and charged with tampering with evidence in connection to Ellis's death. She is identified as 37-year-old Deandra Hightower. This was the scene last week when police used a search warrant to collect a weapon and other evidence from inside the house. Neighbors tell News for Jax that Hartley had been seen staying in the same house before the shooting that ended Ellis's life. Brunswick police are still searching for Hartley. The two latest murders combined with other recent shootings have left this community on edge. You don't know who you can trust. You don't know if you're talking to your enemy. It's just so much. Now, if anyone has information about this morning's shooting of Robert Slay that uh, killed him or the uh, the shooting from last week that killed Michael Ellis, uh, you are strongly urged to contact the Brunswick police. <laughs> Thank you.
When he turned eight, I don't know why, for some reason, I was being used to kiss his iron. It was awful at the time. I would kiss it, be a kiss. So I was good luck before you broke the camera, I was going to kiss his iron one more time. So I kissed the iron, plugged it up. When he kissed the iron, we trust him, man, because he always had it. He kissed the iron. As soon as he kissed it, he looked so well. He says, hey, Auntie. I said, hey, baby, how you doing? He said, I'm good. I said, well, let me go on here and get my dinner. Then I could hear the little homie say, hey, man, who that? She fine as Asian. <laughs> and I could hear Pee Wee say, man, don't be talking about my auntie like that. <laughs> Respectable. I can remember um, one time I went to auntie's house again. I don't know if I took her something or I had to tell her about something. But anyway, there was Pee Wee again. Posted up like a security guard. I said, Pee Wee, Auntie home? No, she's going to make them for a doctor's appointment. I said, well, okay. I said, well, this is the time I need to let Pee Wee know. Pee Wee, I'm not your auntie. I am not Marguerite's sister. I'm her niece. I said, I'm your cousin, baby. So he stood there and looked for a minute. He said, oh. Okay, Auntie. <laughs> I can remember years ago, an older lady used to tell me, she said, Mark, I was on a job, and she said, Mark, she said, respect will take you where money won't take you. And it, and it calls you nothing to be able to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, and no, sir. The generation that I came along with, it was a generation that even if they saw us doing wrong, they put us in check. Because they knew that generation, even though they might have was doing wrong, they did not want us to end up like they did. And if you heard Troy, Troy say he spent 11 years in federal prison. He didn't have to say that. He didn't have to be that open with his life. But he was so open with his life because he wanted somebody to know I may have made it out of there. But who to say you will? Yeah. 